I need to make another face mask and I know a lot of people don't know that the Cameo 4 can actually cut unbound fabric. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So I already have my files and my images traced to on my cut mat on how I like to have it. So I got my 12 by 12 mat for my outside and then again my 12 by 12 mat for my inside of my face mask. This is going to be the part that's going against my face, so it's going to be smaller than this one. So we're going to push send. We'll make sure that the cameo is waking up. We'll give it a minute. Alright, so this part's going to get a little technical, so we're going to zoom in. Bring it over here. Come on. Enough. Okay, so tool one can't be used. We're going to use tool two, which is going to be the rotary blade. So we're going to highlight the design and the shapes and press no cut. So that way the machine knows not to cut that. And then we're going to close that, open up tool two, and then cotton. Fabric thin is what I'm using. And then highlight my design again and cut. It says no carriage two is compatible to cut action. I don't have my rotary blade in. I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to bring it over to the cameo. All right, so we're back at the cameo. This here is the rotary blade. I don't know if you can see that well. Okay. You don't adjust it. When you get it new in the packaging, the housing is going to be screwed down so it's not going to cut because it's protecting the blade. So when you buy the rotary blade, screw it real tight up top until it gets to the top, and that's it. You don't have to adjust it. You just make sure it's screwed up and make sure it's matching level with the housing here. And then it says number two. So this goes in the number two area of the cameo, not the first carriage, the number two carriage. So you put that in, snap that shut, make sure my crossbar is up. Okay, so now we're going to come back to the computer. All right, so now we have the blue lines turned on. That's what we want when we're cutting with the rotary blade. These little circles and little swatches, that's to turn the blade. That shouldn't be cutting the fabric, but if it does, I have necessary fabric to work with it. And I'll show you guys here that in a minute. So we got settery, set to rotary cut, force 13 speed. Let's bump it up to three. And then one pass. It's pretty thin fabric, so I'm just going to do one pass with it. But you can do two, depending on the fabric. But I'm going to show you guys how to put the fabric on the mats. All right, so now I got my fabric and I got my strong grip mat. It might work with a standard grip. I never tried, I'm not gonna try. I know it's gonna work with my purple one. Sorry, that was a little loud. I make sure and keep these covered because these will literally stick to everything. So that's a good thing because we don't want the fabric moving around. So now you place your fabric on the area of the cut mat of where your cut settings are going to be. Make sure it's flat. And then sometimes what I do is I have a brayer that I got on Amazon for like eight bucks with two sides on it. I love it when I'm doing this. So I'll just roll over and make sure it's stuck on the mat right, tight, and extra sticky so nothing moves around. Alright, that looks good. Okay. So, it's up to you. I like to have excess fabric hanging down because the way I have my fabric folded, I can just cut it in sections. So, it will stop cutting at the line on the 12 by 12. It won't cut down here. So, it will only cut on the mat area that I have the cut selected at. So we're going to load this into the machine. Alright, so we're loading the mat into the machine now. I always like to take out my roll feeder to help support the mat. 
Okay. What I didn't know, and I had to learn on my own, because a lot of people never said it, is that the Carriage 2 does not do a test cut. So you have to do your settings the way you think that are right, or go by the system. And then I said it in another video, and I'll say it again. Make sure you do not unload your mat until you know for sure that it cut right. Because if you unload it and resend it, it's going to have a different cut line, even though it's the same design and the same placement. So say... If this didn't cut right, I could send it through for a second time and it'll cut directly on those lines that it cut the first time, okay? So we're gonna come back to the computer. So I'm back at my computer now and I'm gonna push the send. So now it's gonna be cutting with the rotary blade. And the rotary blade has so much force in carriage too that you don't need to bound your fabric on the Cameo 4. It's going to cut it straight on the mat and exactly how you have it on your screen. So I'll come back as soon as that's done cutting. Alright, so it's all done cutting. This was my fault. It's not the Cameo's fault. I didn't have it all the way on my mat so the fabric started moving so that's why it didn't completely clean cut but i can cut myself with that with the pair of scissors when i take it out so it looks like it cut pretty good so we're gonna unload it peel that off i'm gonna set that right there next i'm gonna do my next color i'm gonna do the inside all right so now i'm at my second de yeah. design screen so remember go up to 201 Make sure it's set to no cut. We'll close that. Oh, no, leave that open. Select, no cut. So we're not using carriage one, we're using carriage two. So we're gonna select it again. Rotary cut, we come up here and type in thin fabric. All right, I'm gonna leave everything the default settings because it's just a simple pillowcase, so it's super thin, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. So back to the Cameo. So we load this in, just like we did the first time. And then we're gonna push send. This fabric is tacked on to my mat a little bit better, so hopefully it cuts straight through like it should. And I'll show you guys that when it's done. So it looks like it's finishing up its last cut, so I'll show you guys the rest of that. So it's done. I'm going to lift it up. And it cut very clean. So I'm going to go ahead and unload. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like after I cut that other one away from itself. Alright, so these turned out exactly how I wanted them. This one's from the first one that we cut, and it didn't cut correctly or all the way through certain parts because it wasn't sticking to the mat. But I had my scissors, and I cut off a little bit of a flaws. And then these guys, it's super thin fabric, so the reason why I got the frayed edges is because it my mat was stoop, bleh, super sticky, okay? So by the time I get done sewing it, when I turn it inside out, all these frayed edges are going to be in hiding, so no one's ever going to see those. And this is for me anyways, so I really don't care about frayed edges on the inside because I'm not going to see them. And that's how you cut fabric with the Cameo 4. I also made this cute little bow from Hobby Lobby fabric leatherette with the rotary blade for Halloween. So I wore this 
last week for a Halloween costume, and it's turned out really good when I cut it with the rotary blade with no issues at all. So if you guys want to want me to show you how to make bows, just let me know, and I'll post a video on that. So any comments or questions, put them down in the comments down below, and I will answer them. You guys have a good day.